Vince here, Appomattox Rubber Company, PaddleDA.com, and this is a quick video on receiving large freight. The most important part of ordering online a kayak, a canoe, or stand-up paddleboard is the moment that the driver shows up at your door with the large freight. Most folks are not accustomed to receiving large freight, and so that moment can be a little confusing, maybe a little jumbled, and we're just trying to empower you, our customer, to understand how to receive that large freight uh, so that you don't put yourself in a bad situation. You can see that we label freight with do not forklift signs. We also label it with inspect for damage signs. Uh, we have an intention of receiving do not sign for this shipment until you have thoroughly inspected for any damage. Uh, the reason being is that once you sign for large freight, you are signing that you have received it undamaged. So when that driver from that freight truck company shows up at your door and they hand you that clipboard to sign, as soon as you sign for it, you are signing that you received your freight undamaged and that backs all liability of us out and the freight company. You have absolved them of any, of any damage issues. So it's imperative that you inspect your freight when it arrives. Uh, now I know that the driver is gonna say, you know, they've got other deliveries and such, but you need to be firm in the fact that you need to inspect your uh, freight. And you can see freight comes wrapped in cardboard, plastic wrap, lots of tape. So you want to have a knife ready or a box cutter on the ready in case you've got to open it up and inspect for concealed damage. The first step you're going to do when you receive freight, driver may set it on the ground, you may help. You're going to look over the top. You're also going to want to look underneath. So you'll roll it over. Roll it over and inspect the freight. What oftentimes will happen is, despite the no forklift signs, uh, the terminals will use forklifts on this large freight. And if that damage is going to incur, it's going to incur down here on the underside. So it's important to look for any signs of damage like that. When inspecting your freight, it's real easy to find something that is amiss, a mark, some sort of scrape, something. You can see here, these are freshly packaged, but as they get dragged up and down freight terminals, they will inevitably get marks. Point out those, point out those marks to your driver, tell them you have to open it up to inspect the package. If you have a knife or a box cutter on the ready, it's a quicker process. You can cut, start cutting open immediately and check out the inside of your freight. Now, if there is a damage to your freight, you can refuse that freight, and that freight comes back to us. Uh, you also have the option of looking at the damage and saying, this isn't that bad, I'm gonna keep it. That's when you sign. But you do not sign for that freight until the moment you are comfortable taking that freight as yours and saying you received it in a condition that's acceptable to you. Uh, if you do that prior to inspecting or not inspecting thoroughly and you sign for it and then report to us later that it is in fact damaged, there is virtually nothing we can do. It takes us out of the equation. The freight company has the ability to say this customer signed for it as received undamaged. It must have occurred post delivery. So it puts everybody in a bad situation. I can't stress this enough. We stress it in the email uh, correspondence that we send you. Uh, we stress it over the phone. We are stressing it again in this video. Please inspect your freight before signing for it. This is your friendly public service announcement from Vince at Appomattox River Company. We love y'all. We want to empower you as our customers to understand what it is to receive large freight and the steps to take. We hope this helps you out. Check us out, paddleva.com. Peace.